at the table. How many plates did you set out? Um, we set up four. That's enough, right? Um, we're gonna need one more. One more? What do you mean? There's only four of us here. Who else did you invite? I'll get it. Oh my goodness, David, come in. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, you, you can come in, you can come in. Oh, give me a second, Joe. Um, hi. Oh, um, sorry, I, I thought you were talking to me. But, um, you can come in, don't worry. We don't bite. Well, maybe into you, but okay. the rest of us now. Oh. All right, well, it's nice to see you guys, I guess. You too, you too. Why didn't you tell me he was coming? I... What, what happened? Why is he here? He shouldn't even be here. What? What is this? What do you mean, why is he here? It's Thanksgiving and he's your brother. You haven't seen him in like two years. Look, well, of course. It's, I chose not to see him for two years. That's why it's been so long. I don't even know why you brought him here. You know how I feel about him. You should have <laughs> talked to me first. Look, I'm sorry that I didn't talk to you first, but I will not apologize for bringing him here. I mean, I, I just, I don't know. You, you know. you know how like sophisticated he is. Just, I don't like that he talks so down about me. Like, I am trying the best I can here. He's just going to come in and walk all over me and tell me all the things I'm doing wrong. I just don't want to hear it this Thanksgiving. I want us to be able to be happy and have a great time. And he's just going to come and ruin everything. You know how he is. You know how this works. I am glad that I brought him here. Maybe you guys can make up and figure out all these unsolved and not talked about issues that you guys have. But it's Thanksgiving. Just... Let it go for one day, okay? One day, that's all I'm asking for. Besides, who's to say that he even had plans on Thanksgiving? You might be the only family that he really talks to or even will consider talking to. So don't get mad at me, don't get mad at him. Just keep your cool and act like everything is okay. So, David, how how you been? How's how's it going? Um, it's going good. How about you? Oh, you know, it's it's great living the life over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, when's the food gonna be ready? Uh, it should be ready soon, I I think. So, what have you been doing? How how's the how's the business? You know, very good actually. How have you been doing? Still broke? You know, there there's no need for that. Okay, I I am a teacher and I teach students. What what, what are you doing, huh? Well, you know, I've actually been doing a lot of good things with my life. I've been working on my businesses. You know, my luxury cars such as the Tesla. Lamborghinis, all of them. But what have you been doing, you know? Handing out homework, making kids' life miserable. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing what the job requires me to do. I'm not, you know, like forcing them to do certain things. I don't want to, them to live a terrible life. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, the, yeah. And how's that, how's that salary? It's manageable. It's, you know, it's getting us by. Okay, well, I'm glad. Are you? It's time to look for a different job, though. I, I am doing the best I can with what I have. Okay, well, I mean, I'm proud of you. I'm sure our parents aren't, though. Hmm. Would you like something to drink? Um, yeah, it depends, though. I don't drink soda or anything unhealthy, you know? Gotta keep the body pretty fit. Okay, like so... <laughs> we have water? If, that, if, yeah, that, if that's water. okay for you. We don't have Fiji, though, so mm -hmm. if you're okay with just, you know, regular... Great value? Mm-mm. No, you better get that Fiji. Go. go hey, you're the you're the one with the money. Why don't you go get it yourself? You know what? I sure will. Let me, let me call my assistant. Hold on. Assi hey, Roxanne, can you deliver about five Fiji waters to twenty six eighty two Oakwood States? Mhm. Mm All right. I need it in the next fifteen minutes. Bye bye. Wow, real classy of you. You having your assistant work on Thanksgiving? I knew it. Why? Why you do this? Why, why are you like this? Because business is business, something you don't have. Well, maybe if I didn't have a rude brother, he could help me out. Maybe if you weren't so mad and, you know, selfish and jealous. K jealous of what? Of clearly my success. Anyways, let me go talk to your wife. Well, I have two things. First of all, the candy that Indy stole. And second of all, the food we about to eat because this looked busted. But also, thank you for taking me in, um, Auntie Blue. Well, I have multiple things that I'm thankful for. First, I'm thankful that I'm going to take that candy from Madison. And then, oh, and also, the candy I got from saying that it's a stickle. And then, yeah, and for um, this wonderful food, oh. except that mac and cheese. I'm very thankful for everything that has happened. Like, my kids... And even Madison has been driving me crazy ever since, you know, she got here. But aside from that, it has been quite of a journey. You know, I do love them so much, no matter how much they... <sighs> I don't even know. I do love them all so much. And I, I can't just 
you know, my my pumpkin did look like Taylor Swift. Okay, I don't know what is happening there. I tried my best, but anyways, I'm very thankful for a lot of things. Thankful for Indy, thankful for Madison, thankful for Blue, thankful for Keaton whenever he comes back. Hopefully he does soon. Miss a little little guy. We play basketball together. You know what I mean? Like we 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 schooled those those punks at the park. Is he was the only one that understood me sometimes? You know, for the most part, it's just we always had that father son bond. It was always great. Miss little guy. But anyways, also thank you for this this house, this food we're gonna eat today, this lovely home that we have right here. Beautiful car outside. All we're missing is just a dog or a cat, but you know, we'll be thankful for them too when they get here. Thank you for this iced tea we have in front of us, with this turkey and this mac and cheese. And I guess, I mean, I thank you for my brother who came all this way, despite how selfish he is. But you know, I mean, it's, it's good he's here, I guess. But yes, now circling back to Blue. Very thankful for her. She's She came into my life and changed everything. She was able to give birth to our kids. She's a mother of our children. I am so blessed and thankful to have her in my life. I love her so much. And you know, without her, we wouldn't have this house with, you know, with what we've been going through. We lived in apartments and everything. Here we are. Here we are. Finally house of our dreams living it up you know we got two kids you know what a great time to be alive you know she's so amazing love her so much later she's gorgeous does he have a turn off button well sadly no sadly no i've had to deal with this for four <laughs> freaking years all right well i'm gonna keep it nice and short because i know we have things to eat i'm grateful for all my family even my brother um and i'm also grateful for my parents for always counting on me my businesses um my cars my house and yeah very moving what a speech that was you know at least i worked hard for the stuff i have now okay you were handed things okay you don't know the struggle um, uh, 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 uh. i worked my things trying to eat that juicy turkey y'all busy on some some weird stuff. Indy be quiet, the adults are talking here. All right, this is an A and B <laughs> conversation. Eat your mac and cheese, just sit there, okay? I, I never got to say what I was thankful for. How about I go? Yes, please. You know what? Yeah, go, go, go ahead, go ahead. Here. Okay, I, I, um, okay. Um, I just wanna say that I am so thankful for all of you coming today. I mean, well, like you guys live here, but I mean, David, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I know things aren't the best with everyone's situation, but um, I just wanna say thank you. Uh, I'm so thankful for all of you guys' support in making this house a mess so I can clean it later. Yeah, I just want to say I love you guys so much and I'm so proud of every single one of you. Alex, my love, oh, I love you so much, hon. Thank you for everything you have supplied the family with. Thank you for being a great dad, a great husband. Um, oh, okay, <clears throat> let's start eating. Let's start eating. Come on. Finally. Hey, now, wait a minute. Let her finish her speech. Goodness. Look at you talking. Look at you talking. Indy, just oh eat your God. food. All right, just eat your food. Huh. Just sit there. It doesn't say another word. I'm just busting turkey. I, I know you can not take this. I can't enjoy my food without you getting roasted first. So. Oh, well, you have dinner and a show then. So there you go. Okay, Anyways, let's just let, are, let's you're, just. You were saying, my love. Um. Saying. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's no, fine. No, let's we'll just finish. eat. Let's just no, eat. We'll no, look, finish. look, look at this great turkey. Here you go. Here you go. There you go, hun. There you go. Um. There you go. You know, let's just let's just enjoy this beautiful meal. It looks hey, incredible. Talk way too much. Like, well, sorry, I've been through buddy. a lot. Okay. You think we can? This was this was this is Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving. We're saying what I was thinking. Okay, okay, that's that's enough. That's enough. We're just gonna eat our oh. food, be grateful, and and just quiet. That that that's all I want is just quiet. Okay, eat your food. Mm -mm -mm. That was delicious, Blue. You did amazing. Thanks. I tried really, really hard this year on the turkey because last year it was kind of dry, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this year and how it was so good. Well, this is definitely an improvement, and I'm proud of it. You're looking to have a woman around here that can actually cook. And you know what? I could eat some more. Let me get that last one right there. Uh, You know what? I could eat some more, too. My my wife is the best cook out there, so maybe I want it. Well, there's only space for one, and you've already had enough. Look at your body. Anyways, I'm going to get that. You always get everything. I worked hard for this. This is my house, too, for one, as well. So that's my last piece of turkey, okay? You know what? I've had enough. You are just jealous of me because I work for my stuff, and I get the things that I work hard for. Unlike you, because you're a slob. You know, that's not even fair. I have my priorities straight, okay? I also worked hard. You were handed everything, and you made my life a little bit hell. And for what? All you do is just great papers and do absolutely nothing. But like I said, 
make kids' lives miss. Even your wife is tired of you. How dare you come up in my house and tell me what I'm doing wrong? You know, I've tried so hard. I changed the lives of kids, whether you want to see it or not. The reason why you have degrees is because you went through teachers, which I am. The only way for them to go through, like, to get to what you have is for them to go to school, which I am showing them the ways to. So you don't get to come in my house and tell me what I'm doing wrong. That's not even right, okay? I don't go to your business and say, hey, you're doing this wrong. No, I let you be. And I don't try to kick you to the curb, okay? At least I have a family. Unlike you, you're just alone, sad, and pathetic. Pathetic. I am sick and tired of everything you do. You're so selfish. You never provide for anyone. I'm just so tired of you. That's why I didn't see you for so long because you're not even worth it. Had enough, fed up. If you don't like it, oh well. But you have to respect me in this house. And don't you ever bring up my wife's name again saying that she's tired of me. If she was, she would not be here right now. Do you understand? Obviously, she's making this work as well as I am. And we we're both trying. I don't care who you are or how tall you are, what you do, what your accomplishment is. Oh, you're still going. You're still going. You go back on that yacht of yours or whatever it is you're driving these days and you just sail off out of here and never come back ever again because you're never welcome in this house anymore. Now you're leave. still going. Now leave. Get out of here. We don't want you here no more. You know what? I gladly will leave. And I hope your wife tells you how disappointed she probably is about you because she probably has kept it in this whole time. And I hope that she lets you know how much of a terrible husband you are. And you know what? I do get everything that I want. Look at me leaving with all your turkey. Bye. Are you kidding me, Alex? I invited David here because he's having a hard time. Because he's alone. Thanksgiving is supposed to be about family and you go ahead and make it all about your issues with him. I told you beforehand not to cause any trouble. You may have a bad relationship with him, but at the end of the day, he is still your brother and he's still the uncle of your children, okay? And I don't even know what to say right now because I'm so shocked about the way you reacted to everything. I thought you were going to be man enough to just put all your problems aside and let us have a good Thanksgiving. But here you are making everything about you and all your issues. You need to stop and just think. Family comes first before any issues you may have. If you have a problem with someone, talk it out. Don't just keep antagonizing them. You know what? I tried my best to put, you know, our problems aside, but he just kept bugging at it. You saw how he was at the table. I was literally saying what I'm thankful for, and he butt in, and he was already, like, telling me to, like, stop talking, basically. So it's not really on me. I tried my best. I did. But he just kept nudging at it. And I just, I didn't know what you wanted me to do. I had to defend myself and defend you and our house and our kids. He just kept bashing everything and everyone. What did you want me to do? Just let him talk like that? Have you ever thought about maybe the reason why he gets like this is because he is so jealous about the fact that you actually have people to care about, people to provide for? All he has are miscellaneous things and materials. He has cars, nice houses, and sure, we don't have any of that. And he knows that, but he probably sees what a great family you have. He probably just needs someone to, you know, include him into things. Even your parents, you guys don't even talk to them. He's just alone, Alex. That's all he is, is alone. Even I can see that, and I'm not even blood related to him. I need you to go talk to your brother, figure all of this out, and apologize. He is family, Alex. If we were to have issues one day, this is how you're gonna react? Really? If that's the case, then I'm very disappointed in you. Ah. Uh, I knew I'd find you here. Mm, okay. What do you want? I I want to be honest. Okay. I I really didn't mean everything I said back there. I just I I I'm jealous of your life. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm jealous. Okay. I just I don't know. Sometimes we just you just get in my head, but it's a bad thing, and it just ends up exploding. But I'm sorry for everything I said, and just yeah, I just hope we can you know, move, move past this. Oh, wow, well, I'm not gonna lie, I am a bit jealous. And the reason that I've always tried to seem like I work hard for all my things is because, you know, I've tried to make my parents proud, especially because you have something that I don't have, which is family. But I'm glad that we could at least come to an agreement. And I'm sorry for how I acted in front of your family. That was really disrespectful. It's okay, I understand sometimes the holidays could get us in a a bad mood. I'm glad that we were able to, I guess, let out all the frustrations, I guess you could say, and then just like start over. So if, if, if you would like to, we would love to have you over for Christmas as well. Yeah, of course. I'd love that. Perfect. Maybe we could be on your, your super yacht. Um, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Okay. That's fine. <laughs>
Not too much. Calm down. Look at how to oh, okay, all right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Maybe one day, though, uh, right? At least? Yeah, maybe one day, yeah. All right. So you want to come that- back and finish the, the dinner? Well, actually, I have a few meetings tomorrow, so I'm going to have to start driving back home. You know, it's a long drive from here to Berry Avenue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no worries. We'll just come back whenever you're free. We'll be here. No, yeah, of course. Um, I'll be in keeping contact. Thank you again for for coming. Unexpectedly, of course, but I do appreciate you still coming down all that way. Yeah, of course. Um, Actually, one favor I will ask for. Yes. Um, I kind of need to drive to the airport. Oh. oh my uh, car got towed. Oh, yeah, no worries. I can do that for you. All right, thank you. But we don't speak about this, okay? All right, no, of course. Your secret is safe yes, with me. Hat. All right, you remember that time when when Dad fell off the roof, you know, putting Christmas lights up? Oh, yeah, that was real funny. <laughs> Mom got on to him about that a lot. Oh, uh, he, got, he got seriously... Well, he didn't seriously get hurt, but didn't he break something? I think so. I don't know what it was, but I hope they're doing well right now. I haven't talked to him in a while. Yeah, honestly, same here. Eat your food. All I want to hear is food smacking in your mouth and the sound of you guys sipping your cold iced tea. No, get him out of here. Goodbye. Let's open the door, Indy. You said he has food. That's what he did. <laughs> the door is open. The door is open. He, oh, he swallowed that. He yeah. swallowed. <laughs> he okay. Chew, he swallowed. That's jail time. Get out. Oh my God. Door is okay? open. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm, also, I'm taking this drink. I'm taking this drink. You can leave. Are right, you go back to wherever? You came oh, from. Oh my her. god! No, no. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a little much. That's a little much. You said <laughs> I could <laughs> do it. You know what? I gladly will. And I hope your wife tells you that she's been cheating on you with five different men. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <Gosh. God. laughs> That being my that being my business work. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I'm sorry, let me read that. I'm sorry, let me read that. That's, <laughs> That's going in the bloopers. Oh my goodness, that's so crazy.